Welcome back everyone. As you just saw a few minutes ago with Kara mm -hmm. and Renee today, we're asking you to help us raise some money for Connecticut's first responders. That's right. Hero Fund USA is actively working to help two local fire departments right here in Connecticut purchase life saving equipment they can't fund on their own. In fact, one of those departments desperately needs new gas meters. Here's Channel 3's Kara Sunlin. When bad things happen, we count on our local fire and police departments to show up, as Cromwell firefighters did in July when a shed very close to a home caught on fire. When they pull up to any scene, there may be dangers they can see, but there are also those they cannot. Whenever we go into an atmosphere, we can't see anything. I can't see, there can be something in the atmosphere right now that is affecting us. We would never be able to tell. Cromwell Fire Chief Jason Boletto says that's why fire departments carry these. This is our typical MSA Altair 4 gas meter 4X. These this gas meter produces readings on four specific things that if too high or too low can be dangerous and even life threatening. It measures oxygen levels. It measures carbon monoxide levels. Anything that gets greater than 35%, 35%, we automatically put on our SCBA packs and we go on air, and that protects us. It also detects hydrogen sulfide levels and lower explosive levels, also known as LELs. The meters draw the air in through these pads, and if the levels are out of range, an alarm goes off to warn firefighters. Alan Domini is a Cromwell firefighter. He and his fellow firefighters use these gas meters regularly, including at fire scenes and on calls where a resident might smell the odor of what could be natural gas. We would go in with the meters on. Uh, we would turn them on outside so we have our neutral atmosphere of the numbers we need to be at. Um, and then once we enter, we would be continuously monitoring the numbers on our meter and making sure that they're not dropping or rising above where it needs to be. And if this happens to go into alarm, uh, we're aware of what's happening and we can get the proper resources uh, to the wherever we're at to make sure that the environment is corrected and, and brought to a neutral state. Cromwell Fire is hoping to purchase three of these four gas meters. They need additional meters and some of the ones they have are being used beyond their lifespans. The chief would also like to buy one five gas meter, which detects everything I just mentioned, along with something called VOCs, or volatile organic compounds. With new business coming to town, the chief says he needs it. We have a lot of things going on where there's a lot of chemicals within these areas that maybe our meters can't pick up if we have a four gas. Now with the five gas, we could pick up something, God forbid, if it is leaking within our within any business or outside we can deal with. Cromwell's chief says the total cost of all four devices is around $5,000, but the protection they offer, you could easily argue, is priceless. This is not just going to protect my firefighters, but it's also going to protect the community.